Hi everyone, so as we can tell, I am back. Woo! My MacBook is finally fixed and I finally got to edit this video. And please excuse my dog barking, I don't know why she is. Um, but as the title says, this is my July favorites, and I have so many products for you guys. Lots of beauty products, lots of jewelry, and lots of clothes that I've just been loving in the month of July. And I know it's like a week into August, and I'm really, really sorry about that, but as you guys know, um, if you watch the update video, you guys know why. So, I'm just going to get right into it. The first two items that I have are the same items, but I tried different types of them. And these are my BB creams. If you guys don't know what BB creams are, they're like SPFs, tinted moisturizers, moisturizers, foundation, all this bunch of stuff. And I've had two of them this month. And the first one I got was the Maybelline BB, or Dream Fresh BB 8 in 1 Beauty Balm Skin Perfector. This is what it looks like. And I got this from Walmart. And I think it was like $8. And I really like this one. Um, the color that you see on the top is the exact color that you get in the bottle, which is really nice. Um, it doesn't really, you know, change much. Um, what I liked about this, though, is that it really was covering, but still at the same time really light. But I did find with this one in particular that it got very, very sticky. And I don't wear a, like, powder, like a bare mineral powder kind of type. And I probably, if that, if I were to apply that afterward onto my skin, that would probably fix it. So the next one I have is CoverGirl uh, GCGS Smoother BB Cream Tinted Moisturizer Sunscreen SPF 15. Now, the nice thing is this one's 30, and but this one's 15. But I like this one way better. And I also got this at Walmart, and this was $6, I think. And I like this one just because it wasn't very sticky, um, didn't make my skin oily, did its job. And once again, this color right here, I think I'm pointing to it, is the one that um, is the color you get. And I got medium to dark in the CoverGirl and in Maybelline Dream. I got medium to deep sheer tint. So both of these are super good products. Like I said, Walmart has them. Now my next item is a nail polish and I love, I think I wore this all month, and this is the Revlon 925 Gold Coin. And I showed this in a haul and it's a really pretty gold um, nail polish. It's like a metallic and metallics are super, super in right now. And I really like this. I got this at Big Lots. I think it was like $4. And literally, once again, the color in the bottle is the color you get, which is awesome. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, another nail polish that I didn't like, and what I'm doing in this video is I'm kind of doing some of my, like, all my favorites of the month, but also the things I wouldn't buy. I haven't done that yet, so I want to see if you guys like how I do this. But this is Essie Fiji, and I heard so much about this color. I really, really liked it, and I loved it in the bottle, but you don't get what you, you know, get out. It's so sheer that I feel like I need to put white on first and then this color for it to pop up. So I'll try that, but with it just like going on my nail, it didn't really work, so I was kind of disappointed. Next thing I have for you guys are two items that I was, that I loved and that I hated. And these are my makeup removers. Huh. My makeup removers. And this one is the Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Tell Lives Night Call Me. And then this is just a Target brand. It's called Cosbar. Um, Target. Now, what I'm going to do is start off with these ones because I bought these ones first. And I liked these when I got them. I love the packaging. You guys know me. I love cool packaging on stuff. Um, that's what catches my eye. And I love the way they worked. But then, once I started using them daily and nightly and everything, the smell really got to me. And it's a really strong scent. And so I was kind of like, mm, this is not great, you know. And I noticed that it left my skin really, really dry. And I have already naturally dry, dry skin, so I wasn't a big fan of that. So then what I did is I switched. And I switched to the Neutrogena Makeup Room Moving with the Night Calming. And I love these. Love them, love them, love them. Now, like I said, I only use them at night. Um, they have this, like, a lavender scent in them. And here's a tip for you guys. Um, lavender... Uh, helps you sleep at night, so it's really cool. And they have like little miniature beads on them. They're not like harsh on your skin, but they really work into your pores to get all the makeup off. So I really like these. Got these ones at Meyer, and they were like seven dollars, something like that. And these are Target, and these were three. These have thirty. These have twenty-five. So that's just some little facts for you guys. 
two next items are some items I did not like. Now I bought these both at Target and I got them just like on clearance, you know. I'm trying to expand my buying for different types of makeup so I can test different things. And the first thing I got was the L'Oreal Paris The One Sweep um, Blush and Sculpt. And this looked really cool. I read like the directions on how to use it and what it does and I thought it was really cool. And then I opened it and it didn't have a brush in it. So I tried using my, um, what one is this? The bronzing brush from e.l.f. because it looked like the one in the picture. And like I was sweeping and sweeping and sweeping and all that. And like hardly anything came off. So I was really disappointed in that. Um, the next item was a lipstick. And I'm not really a big fan of lipsticks because I would just prefer a lip balm. I'm too, I never have mirrors around me to get it precise and whatever. This is a L'Oreal Paris and this is in color Volcanic. And when I looked at it, it was like a really pretty coral color. Um, kind of burnt red. When I put it on, it was orange. It was terrible. Um, I was like, I look like a clown. So I would not buy this again. Maybe if I can like combine it with something, but not my thing. Next thing I have is a makeup palette or an eyeshadow palette and I was um like I have my big one from Elf or from Elf. Yeah, I have my hundred one. And I really like this one, I do. But sometimes I am so rushed in the morning that I put my makeup on at work. And so I found this little one and this is prestige. I got this like when I was like so younger and this is what it looks like has um, a highlighter, a pink, a light or darker purple, and then a super dark purple. And I really like this because it's easy, it's on the go, and these colors go great with my eyes. So um, I always use the white as my highlighter, ooh, white as a highlighter, and then I mix in between these ones, and then this top one is my crease color. So I really like this, and if I can find this palette again, or different kinds of it, I totally will. The next thing I have for you guys is lotions, and I've been loving lotions this month because um, I've been, you know, working every day, and for some reason my skin just wants to act extra dry. So I have the Olay Quench Body Lotion, and I have the Sweet Pea from Bath & Body Works. And I'm going to start with Sweet Pea because I use this most, and I like it because it's so thick. The smell is fabulous, and it's super inexpensive, and I like it, once again, because it's super thick, and I don't have to keep applying it. I know it's just going to keep moisturizing throughout the day. The next world was a lay. Um, I like this one for like after I shave because I have super dry skin and that way I know that you know this is ooh, this is going to um, really work on my legs and make sure that they stay dry. And like I always shower at night, so I don't want you know it always makes them stay um, moisturized. Ugh, I just, you guys, I can't talk today. Seriously, um, makes them stay moisturized throughout the night. The next thing is something that I kind of have like a love-hate relationship with right now, but I haven't seen, like I haven't used, I don't think I've used it enough and for a long period of time to really say that I hate it. And this is the Night of Olay Firming Cream, and I got this for underneath my eyes so that um, it wouldn't make me look so tired. Um, I mean, college kids, we never get enough sleep. So this is what the model looks like. It's just, you know, a little too, or a little, little nugget, and it smells it smells like a type of fruit. I don't know what kind. I feel like it tastes smells like strawberries because it's pink. But it also smells exactly like baby lotion, and that's what it looks like. Now, the reason I kind of have a love-hate relationship with this is because, one, I love the smell of it, and I love how, you know, easy and moisturizing. I mean, I feel it in the morning, too, which is really good. Same time, I, it kind of makes it oily, but it, and it also hasn't really done a ton. Now, I got this in, like, the middle of July, I want to say. So it hasn't had a ton of time to start working, and I've skipped a few nights, so I really need to make sure that I'm, like, doing this constantly. So, but, and the thing about this is, this is a pretty big bottle, and I'm only using, like, a few dabs to put underneath my eyes. Um, I don't really have any other body parts um, that really need the firming. Um, but, so this is a pretty big bottle. This is one of those products that um, I'm glad I bought, but I probably will not rebuy it. These next two items are jewelry, and I, if you guys follow me on Instagram, which is Allie Krizan, um, you guys have ordered, um, already seen these products, or these products, these um, pieces. And first up is my gold watch, 
and I just got this at Kohl's for like five dollars and I but I just love it um it's really plain really simple and it goes literally with everything so I really like it and this is the brand Vivian I've never heard of it so the next item is something that was brand new and this is kind of at the end of July but I really really liked it um and my boyfriend bought it for me actually so that's really nice of him and this is my sideways gold cross and this is the bobble beads on them. These are really in right now. I'm not a huge fan of them, but I really, really like this because it was the sideway cross. And it has the, um, the little extenders on them. So I really like that, that it's adjustable. And we got this at our county fair. He bought this for me there. And I've been wanting a sideways cross. I really want a gold or rose gold sideways cross. And I know um, a place on Insta or a, like an Etsy store named Dern could be saying that wrong. I probably am. But they sell them, so I'm thinking about buying one from them. Okay, so some of the last items that I have for you guys are my clothing. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys know the following two items very, very well. These are my Steve Madden shoes. I've literally just worn these all summer. I wore these ones to death that I had to get a new pair. And I love these. They're so comfortable. They're just the toga style, and I have the glitter ones. And then I also went to the Sam's Club, and I bought the just plain brown ones. And I love these ones a lot because they go with so much, um, even though I do love these, and I add sparkle to everything that I wear. And so um, these were on sale for, they were $20 to begin with, and then I got them for $9 a piece. So, and then the only other pair, the only thing of clothing that I have is my American Eagle skinny jeans in a coralish color. They're probably going to show really weird on camera, but these are really, really nice. I love these. They were kind of expensive. They were $55, and that was with tax. So, eh. But I don't ever spend like that much on jeans because I like haven't like gained weight or lost weight or grown anything. So like the jeans that I have are really nice, and they fit really good. So I got these, and I don't know if they have them anymore. They might have them online, but in stores I'm not sure. But I absolutely love these, and they're the skinny. They might be jeggings. Let me look. No, they're just... I think they're just... Yeah, they're just, you know... And they're not jeggings. I think they're just regular skinny jeans. So, um, no, but if I'm wrong, please correct me. So, but yes, I love these. And I wear them with um, usually cream tops and this bobble necklace that I'm wearing right now. Um, that's what I usually pair them with. So that is it for my July favorites. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um... Friday morning, I am leaving for New York, and I'm going to be doing um, as many vlogs as I can of the city and where I go, and probably some iPhone vlogs, so, like, I can just update you guys really quickly, and then I'll be getting back on Monday night, and so then the next day is my birthday, which is August 14th, I'm turning 20 years old, I'm super excited, and I'll be going out to dinner with my boyfriend and family, so I'll probably do like an outfit of the night, I'll actually probably be doing a video for that one, I usually just do Instagram, and I'll probably do Instagram, but I'll probably do a video because it's like a special event, so, um, yeah, so, that is it, I think, Oh, I'm thinking about doing a giveaway at the end of the, m or whenever I can reach 100 subscribers. So, if you guys haven't subscribed and you're watching this, make sure you guys subscribe. Um, any videos that you guys want to see, make sure you comment below. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye!